Hey guys, I want to play Gear City today with you. I'm on the testing branch on version 1.18.1. .1. Um, Gear City is still early access, um, so we, it's not perfect yet, but it's already a lot of fun. Um, so we just start a new game here. Oops. Yeah, it's on Steam. Um, starting of course in 1900 and we're gonna try hard. I actually never tried hard before but let's just see how that goes. So first we need to um, decide where we want to have our headquarters. So you're looking for um, when you click here on the cities you uh, see a few stats here important is the population and the, uh, how rich they are. So I usually, I usually start in North America which is fairly easy. Um, Europe is okay as well but those dickheads start the war fairly soon so that's gonna be tough. Um, so a good place to start I don't know uh, America at all, so always hard to find the right city. Um, good place to start would be New York. It has a high population. They have, yeah, enough money. So we're just gonna choose New York. Um, yeah, my name is Ben. Um, our company is Fu. And. Poof, we use a purple dragon. Um, my computer is not the best, so I just take 50 random companies. They're not all gonna start at the beginning, they are founded at different uh, times. So I suppose at the beginning we just have a few, few of them die off as well over the game. So there's that. Well, let's just start, shall we? Um, first of all, the first thing we need to do is go to our R&D department. We need to develop a few things before we can do anything. Um, so for the beginning, it's fairly important to be cheap. Nobody cares about uh, quality. Just get it out as cheap as possible. As you can see, we just have 1 million cash, so that's not a lot. Um, yeah, back to the R&D department. It's actually the first time I do a video like this, so that's why this uh, is not the best maybe. But let's see how it goes. So we need to design three things, a chassis, engine, gearbox. And then if we have the three things, we can start with our actual car. Um, and the first car we're gonna build is a pickup truck. Let's go back to the office and I show you why. If you click here on our sales book, obviously we don't sell anything yet, but here's a reports tab, and we have the body style demand for North America. Um, and you can see the few things that they really want are, for example, pickup trucks. And this is gonna be like this for a long time. So you're fairly safe with uh, pickup trucks in North America, that is. If you would be to start in Europe, you probably want to start with sedans. Um, they want this. So yeah, let's uh, try and do that. So back to the R&D department now. Finally we can start, huh? hopefully. Um, so if we Alright, we obviously can't do that yet because we need a few things for this. So you have always two choices. You can use an assisted one or the advanced one. I usually like to use the advanced one because you're more flexible and you can actually do what you want to do. However, right at the beginning it really doesn't matter that much because there's not so much you can choose from anyway. So 
at this point in time we have just one frame to choose one you can see here the good things and the bad things about it but uh, since we don't have a choice anyway let's just go with it so front engine or rear engine um, it so let's see um, I believe I'm not quite sure actually but I believe the durability is fairly important for uh, pickup trucks and it's cheaper as well and all in all it seems to be a lot better so let's just go with the front engine I'm actually not that good at this game I played it maybe once or twice so I have no idea what I'm doing actually <laughs> um, but yeah let's see where we get we are gonna just start with the leaf spring cause it's the cheapest and I think it's good enough for what we are trying to do and we need to be cheap so there's that so now that we have the overall components we go into the details so here you see all the ratings for what you are about to design and more importantly here's the project cost and the unit cost um, as if you remember we just have one million in total so we need to keep it low so for a pickup truck we probably want a rather a large frame cause a cargo is fairly important for a pickup truck as well as the strength of the uh, chassis so we might go a little up here as well no we don't need as much of the uh, engine length in this we're not gonna have such a large engine right now anyway um, so now everything else we don't care about so let's just get this down nobody cares about all of this and if we get this down the whole thing gets a little cheaper which is um, fairly important so nobody cares about performance right control as I said the strength is fairly important if I remember right so we leave it here and um, there we go now if we already had an engine or and a gearbox we could look at our prototype I believe if we don't have it uh, it's fairly hard to do because there's nothing to show anyway but let's see what it says it's actually the first time I play on the testing branch as well. So, um, yeah. Well, the cargo is actually not that much, but it must be enough for now. We're not gonna get an engine that big right now. It's gonna be, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely not what's gonna happen. But yeah. Alright, so that's actually a little too expensive. Maybe we should have it even a little smaller. Let's see how much that makes. Let's yeah. All right. So the overall unit cost of our car uh, should really not be high. I try to get at like 500, but I think that's gonna be really tough. Well, we try. It's gonna be finished at uh, 4th April, so four months from now all right build this so we need to name it for the first just leave the standard name it's fine we're gonna replace it fairly soon with something better anyway if we don't go bankrupt first um, let's actually start with the gearbox instead of the engine um, yeah here you can see that uh, there are, it's still early access right placeholder art. Also I believe in the version before we had an image there yeah, might be wrong though. Right. Um, we just go with one gear um, just because it's cheaper. Uh, as it says here if you have more gears it's uh, better 
but also more expensive. Um, yeah, and we don't need that right now. So let's see. Again, first you choose your basic components and then you go into the details. I believe the reverse gear is not that expensive and makes quite a difference if we keep it. Um, here, I don't think it makes a difference in price, it's just about what we want. And um, in a pickup truck, nobody cares about uh, fuel economy, but torque is fairly important. Same for the speed, they don't want to go fast, they want to be strong. So let's keep it here. Now if we put that a little higher, this is going to be more expensive. Um, we'll see how much of a difference that makes. Um, but again, we want to keep it as cheap as possible, obviously. So quality, nobody cares. Um, technology, anyway, we don't need that. Um, I'm actually not 100% sure what the uh, manufacturing does. I believe it has to do with um, how many cars you can build in your factory. Like when your requirements are down, you can um, build more cars with the same factory. But I might be entirely wrong. Uh, yeah. So we just leave it there. <laughs> um, right, the so focus. Uh, we don't need any fuel consumption, I guess. Um, it can break all the time, they can work a lot. Um, in terms of performance, yeah, let's just keep it down. Actually, the gearbox is, uh, well, all three components are obviously important, but I used to underestimate the gearbox. Like, if you have a good engine, but your gearbox is super shitty, um, the engine doesn't help you at all. So again, let's check what this thing says. Again, that's not super helpful if you don't have everything else already. So since we are missing the engine, um, we're not going to learn much from this. Um, yeah doesn't tell us anything really. It does tell us that they are not going to get far, but um, yeah, that's just how it is early on. I mean, look up how good the cars were at this time anyway in real life. Um, they were not that good, I can tell you. But anyway, so this is just three months, so that's good. It's gonna be fairly cheap, that's good as well. Um, and 10k is not too much either. So let's build this as well. Yeah, the name is fine for now. Alright, so now we need the engine, the most important thing. So we can already choose from uh, quite a lot of different designs here. Um, I'm not going through everything here, but I believe this is gonna be good enough for now. And it's cheap as well. So there's that. Obviously just a single cylinder, we just can use this. Later on uh, we will discover uh, diesel and stuff like this as well. Um, I think we need to go with this, but we can change this all later on again. So if we click OK now here, we have the option in the layout and performance here to change everything and see right away what it actually does. So as you can see, if we would leave everything like this, we have uh, 2 HP, which <laughs> is not that much, right? And um, a very good fuel mileage, actually. So we can make it work, I guess. So this is a really small engine. I, I don't remember how uh, big it can be, right? 26 to 31. Um, does this obviously fit, because our engine is currently just 9 to 9. So what we're going to do is, we increase the length and the rise with, oh, can't talk to them. Um, it's still very small, um, but this makes it cheaper again and um, better. So let's get this a little up here, the fuel we don't need. 
so go down and let's okay if we actually check it now here it can tell us a fair bit to be honest it's always you need to try quite a lot out here it's like half of the game obviously so power we need more power to be honest right now those all doesn't matter like for the first car it's gonna be shit anyway so you just need to be better than the AI anyway and they are really shitty currently I believe um, the developer is going to improve that in one of the coming versions but right now um, they are not that good so if we are not that good either that's okay so if we would have this engine like this we have um, 3HP and a full usage of 4 km per liter which is not that good but not really bad either all right so we need to get the price down a little actually the project cost is not that high so we we're gonna be fine we're gonna do the car itself it's gonna be a lot more i guess i think he in this version he actually changed i if i remember right in the last version it was all a little more expensive but yeah let's get this all a little down again nobody needs any of that um, again here I just leave it like this what do I know and the focus um, don't really need that don't really need that um, in terms of performance let's just keep it actually we can go down so how much of difference max so 129 is our unit cost now 170 almost so if we keep it like this and just get up the straw to get a little stronger engine until we have the same price okay full yeah, it's a little too much it's too expensive all right so you see if you, if you do that obviously the engine gets larger as well but it's still fairly small but it's a lot stronger and still not too expensive so let's keep it at 200 six months it's gonna take six months obviously if it takes longer it's bad for us right now because we can't um, do our actual car yet so we can't actually sell anything so we can't make any money which is bad um, all right let's look at our prototype right so this is obviously bad I mean I don't think they care at this moment like cars are just for rich people anyway but you know and it's a pickup truck and it's America so <laughs> they don't care about this anyway right but it's fairly strong for the time actually extremely fast so yeah I mean let's just go with it I guess that's okay I, I we'll see right we'll see if I go bankrupt I just don't upload the video maybe what do you think <laughs> alright maybe we can get the fuel rating a little up let's try make it a little less strong mm, keep it at like roughly 200 uh, it doesn't really make a difference uh, let's go with it see what happens right all right so six months that's gonna take so we just wait for six months now we can't really do anything say six months so we have now one million let's see how much it costs us so far all right march april may and june here we are 
So we are still good, not even 200k. Here we get all our reports. So obviously we uh, lose a lot of money because they are um, doing all that stuff. Um, yeah, at the beginning there's obviously a lot of stuff being done. So here's the research complete. So our gearbox is finished. The chassis is finished. And the engine is finished. And here we get the first contracts in. Contracts, well, are basically what they say. You can just sell stuff to people, but you can also try to get contracts which are a little. Oh, they are not for us the contracts. Too bad. Um, yeah, contracts are a little more stable, you know. You just know that you're gonna sell so many units uh, every month. Alright, this set. We can start um, building our car. Let's do that, shall we? Alright. So we want to build a pickup truck. Let's try that. We don't have much to choose from, do we? And this. Alright. So now we can create um, the actual body of the car. Like, I believe they want to have some pre-built ones fairly soon, but as of now you need to do it yourself. Um, we are already quite late in this video, so I just try to load one if that is possible. Right. That I did in a game before. It's uh, very nice, isn't it? Oops, I just deleted it, didn't I? Oops, I know. But it's still... It's not. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright. Go again. You have to use this one. <laughs> Isn't it nice? Alright. Let's see if we leave everything like it is, what we actually have. So, total cargo is not good, but not too bad either. We have, as expected, a really bad um, fuel mileage. Um, but. Everything else seems fine for this age. Right. Design warnings. This is. I'm actually not sure if this is um, just based on the ratings and just ignores the time we are in. Or if this car is actually the shit. That could be it too. Alright, so it shows us here how much our car currently has and how important it is for this type of car. So obviously pickup truck cargo is very important, they don't care about luxury, this kind of stuff. So we obviously try to match this and we want to um, keep our costs down. As you can see this car project is already like more expensive than everything else we did so far. So let's try to keep that further down because we are not exactly rich. And the unit costs, I want to try to keep at like 500 to 600 um, to make sure we can sell it to a decent price, right? I mean, at the time, people were not that rich, like, you know, they didn't sell the cars for ten thousands of uh, dollars. So let's go. Material quality, we don't need that. Interior quality, as you can see, this um, goes here in life, so luxury and quality goes down. You probably want a little quality up, but like um, luxury and this stuff, kind of stuff, we really don't need. And as for now, the most important stuff is um, to keep it cheap. So let's try that. Uh, obviously, we don't need that. We don't need to be innovative right now. We don't need any luxury. It doesn't need to be comfortable. Uh, nobody cares about safety, right? Technology, we don't need either. Alright. Again, style, nobody cares about. Luxury, nobody cares about. Safety, nobody cares about. Cargo is fairly important, so let's try to get it up a little. So you can see they would like a little more, so usually you try to um, aim for like 2500 or something liters, and we have currently. 1100, so it should be like more than twice as much. But with this engine, we can't really power such a big car right now, can we? Um, 
this is fairly important as well but in terms of how much we get out of it to the costs we should probably should keep it down the target demographic I'm actually not sure what's the best and if it makes a real difference but I suppose um, this could make sense maybe maybe not who knows all right so testing this probably makes sense to make sure we get it but again we don't have money performance is fairly important but we don't have money I don't think it can be any less fuel efficient we need to be careful if it can't move at all anymore then we have a problem this seems fine though uh, we don't need that that's again fairly important but we don't have money and I try to keep the cost at like 500 as I said so let's go down a little exactly 500 so that's nice all right let's see if people are gonna buy this who knows it takes us another um, six months now until we're finished and cost us a little over 200k so that should be fine let's just go for it um, yeah here we can choose a trim and create new trims we don't have any money for this anyway um, and our brand so we can create a new brand if we'd like at some point um, but for now we just have our, our main brand so there's that um, let's start with it and I would say we stop here or maybe go the six months forwards and then stop and then the next video we try to sell our car try it all right so again it's gonna be expensive all right the so first half million is almost done all right safe and bye see you soon